Good morning, friends. Nam. Tasso. Bhagavato. Arahato. Samma Samputasa. Worthy. Honorable. And perfectly self enlightened. Is a blessed Buddha. War. How do Buddhists look at war? Buddhists look at war as a problem of behavior, of karma. So the solution of the problem is also an ethical solution, a correction of behavior, a correction of karma. Karma just means action, actually. And the intention that is behind that action. If the t intention behind the action is bad, is wrong, is evil, then the result will be pain and suffering, both for oneself and for others. While if the intention behind the action, behind the behavior, is good, is friendly, is correct, then the result, both for oneself and for others, will be pleasant. It will be harmony. It will be peace. When Buddhists have a training rule, the first precept, that says that one should not kill, one should train to abstain from all killing, not only human beings, but also all animal beings, all beings who are sentient, who can feel suffering, who can feel pain, one should not take their life. Then it's very logical that this will lead, it's at least the first step to harmony. How can we have peace on earth if we don't stop killing, if we encourage war, either directly or indirectly? This is impossible. So, first step, very practical step, very direct step is to stop all killing. This is not something one should do and point the fingers the others should stop killing. It is oneself one should stop killing. All killing. Killing of animals, killing of human beings, directly or indirectly. It is also encouraging others to kill. This can, for example, be by selling weapons by selling poison that are specifically designed to kill others, then one is involved in this kind of killing. This we should stop, because this is basically insane, since it is impossible to kill others directly or indirectly without killing yourself also, slowly, in slow motion. Stop killing. Harmlessness, ahimsa, is therefore the first crucial step towards peace. May all beings be happy thereby. Thank you for your attention.